Well, my name is Melissa Muscat, and I'm the mother of a 14-year-old son who has Tourette syndrome, ADHD, and obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, when my son Benjamin was seven years old, we noticed that he was just a rambunctious child uh, with a great deal of energy, and he had some habits, uh, but he was having some difficulty in school, paying attention, settling down, following instructions. And at that point, they suspected he must have ADHD. Well, when we went for the official diagnosis of ADHD, we were told, based on the history we gave them about Benjamin's behavior, that a lot of these habits that we described were really symptoms of Tourette's syndrome. When I heard the news that my son had Tourette's syndrome, I felt that like I was hit by a ton of bricks. I knew very little about Tourette's syndrome. I thought it was a disease that was depicted on TV as uh, people shouting inappropriate words out and barking and jerking and immediately I thought my son will never have a normal life and I was devastated. I was very lucky to have found the Tourette Syndrome Foundation of Canada whose mission is to improve the life of lives of people with or affected by Tourette Syndrome through programs of education and self-help and advocacy and promoting research in the area and why it was so important for me really was to be educated about Tourette Syndrome. And I was so surprised to find out that most people who have Tourette Syndrome, which is a neurological disorder that um, is uh, manifested through tics, uh, motor tics, movements, involuntary movements, and uh, vocal tics, which sometimes can be clearing your throat or um, coughing, uh, just really subtle sounds. It doesn't necessarily mean screaming, but that most people with Tourette syndrome, you wouldn't even know that they had Tourette syndrome. And most of the time you find out that people have Tourette syndrome when you're going to find out if they have ADHD. And the fact is that most of the people with Tourette syndrome do have ADHD and OCD. And as opposed to looking at it as being a, an awful thing to be told your child has Tourette's syndrome, in a way it became a relief to find out now we know what it is. Now we know what's causing him to do the things that are, are causing him distress and stress and anxiety, and we can work towards fixing it or at least improving it. And I'm so proud that seven years after my son was diagnosed, he graduated with unbelievable honors from middle school. He's an accomplished guitar player, a great athlete. He sings and he is doing really well in school. And I'm not worried about the life he's going to lead because I know he's going to be just fine.